Welcome back. Welcome back. I am your host, Ramadi. Today we are on another Redstone tutorial. We are going to take a look at the combination lock. Um, what I have built for you here is just a one-digit combination lock. We will get into um, ins and outs of this thing here in a moment. Um, I do have new computer. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool, uh, is all I really have to say right now. Um, unfortunately, the um, video card that I ordered is not here yet. It has lagged behind. We yanked the vid card out of the old machine. Um, so we're still using that. It's not really doing um, my 4670K justice. You're right, I am going to brag about having that i5. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't want to wait a whole lot longer. It's been like two and a half weeks. I wanted to post a video. I wanted something to be here. Um, we are not quite going to do the computer comparison yet just because it is not finished. It's not totally built. Um, but yeah, 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 here we go. Uh, combination lock. Um, yeah, as you can see, this is programmable. Um, well, if you don't see now, you will, uh, I promise. This is programmable, meaning um, that we have added this little lever right here next to our buttons. Um, that is just a nine-digit keypad um, is all that that is. This guy right here um, is going to allow you at this point here to go ahead and enter in um, your pin. You can program it here. And then if we flip the lever, we're going to invert those pistons, and then this is going to um, allow us to then uh, recall the pin. You know, we program the pin first, and then to enter into what we want, we go ahead and do that. Um, and then it, um, the model that we're going to build here today is going to go ahead and reset itself. Um, so you'll have to enter in every time. That obviously does not have to be the case. We can build something that does not do that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start uh, real basics. We're just going to start here on the pin pad. Um, this is reminiscent of CNB Minecraft, basically the same thing. All this is is just taking your nine digits and then splitting them into nine unique lines. Um, and then since these are always on here behind, um, this line of yellow is just inverting that signal, so it's off. So now anytime we push a button, uh, it goes ahead and actually sends a signal instead of turning a signal off. Seems more efficient. Um, so after these torches run into here, what this very, very first line here is going to do is it is going to... Um, split the signal into two lines. So above, obviously, it's going to run to the rest of this yellow here. And then if we go below, that is where this line of nine um, is actually going to come from. It's just going to be this guy right here. It's just going to split it. And then uh, based on what lever selection you have, that's where we either code the pin or uh, input the pin. So, so yeah, that's basically kind of the idea here. Um, you probably could do this more compactly. You can certainly do, um, at least when you have lines built like this, you know, this is going to have a delay because of all the repeaters. You can certainly build it um, in a different fashion so that it does not do that, split the lines with redstone. Um, I wanted you to be able to visualize the lines efficiently, so that's why I have it um, built this way for today's purposes anyway. So uh, we've split the line, we input our number, it's run over here, we're going to code the pin, um, so lever down. Um, so that line then is going to run here. It's going to pass this first check of the pistons, run into these repeaters, and then it's going to immediately get split uh, yet again. And uh, the top line is what's going to go ahead and carry out if we had more digits built. Uh, that's where this line would then run. The bottom split of this line is then going to carry into um, here. So what we've got built between the yellow and the orange are just opposite pistons, and that's how we're going to check where um, the digit is with everything. Now this will be controlled by the, by the actual um, machine. That's not a manual control. So after we put in our first digit, then these pistons will retract, the white ones will extend. Um, and I am going to do that here in a moment, but first I'm going to explain a little bit more about what's going on. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of color coding built into this. 
um, and that is for you more than anything else. Um, well, it also helps me, I guess. So, the light blue here is eventually going to be a um, a reset line that'll run all the way through the machine. It will go everywhere, uh, and it's not hooked up yet. But I did need to build it um, beneath that reset line is where you know when you hit the number the digit comes in passes the check through the orange block and then it runs into this little blue contraption and uh, if you've watched my other videos you're going to immediately recognize this as the one wide tileable um, nor latch and um, really that's why I went out and found the nor latch was for this specific uh, combination lock but it's actually served in a lot of other things so um, as I like to keep lines the same, anytime you see blue from here on out, it will be a nor latch, so there is another one built there. And then the white line here is going to be in keeping with this white line of pistons, which will just be the digit check as we go along. Um, so, yeah, we've hit the button, it's run all the way over here, past the check, it's going to then go ahead and flip one of these nor latches, which is then going to run into this lime contraption. And what this lime is, uh, is just a one wide and gate. And what that is going to do is um, it's going to make sure that this here and this here do exactly the same thing. So if you have the same digit, then the AND gate will turn on. Um, and basically what we've done is you've programmed the first digit. And then if someone comes along and tries to input incorrectly, you know, they're not going to be able to do that. It's not going to work. Um, uh, and so that's pretty much the idea um, that's running on there is just, um, you know, this is the AND gate. So this will be when the first digit turns on, um, then we'll be able to use this to run to all of our resets that are just everywhere else, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's the idea um, conceptually. Let's have a real demonstration here. So we're going to program in the number four. And by programming that number, we are going to see these pistons flip. So now this digit, the first one here, will not program again. Um, it's going to be restricted by that orange right there. We cannot program a digit. And the white here is now down, which means the next time we push a, push a button, it is going to carry out into what will then be the next digit. Um, and then as you can see, this has now flipped down, so that is the corresponding line for 4. And then the block of redstone lights the repeater, which goes ahead and flips everything in the AND gate. Now even though this guy is off, that torch stays off because of this guy right here. Um, so that's kind of what we're getting at with the AND gate. And then of course this up here has just been flipped, all we did um, when this torch, whoops, sorry, when that torch turned on, which happened in the an, uh, in the nor latch here, um, we turned it on, and then um, the white line then is going to turn itself and then run into this and then flip that nor latch up here. Um, so yeah, that is again concept. So now um, in our one digit model here, what we want to do is now input. So we're now going to run down the green line, no longer into the yellow, we'll run down green. We are going to input the digit 4 again, and then we will take off down here where we are going to watch everything work. And now um, the AND gate has lit up, which is pretty cool. So um, that's what happens when we input the same digit both ways. Now this over here, the green, all this is doing is just carrying all nine of these lines out so that it can run into um, the same contraption backwards. Although I do need to point out that since it is reversed, you know, it's backwards from the other side, we need to also flip our lines around, which is what we've done here. Um, this has just taken this line on the outside and now run it underneath to right here so that this line lines up here and on this side, number nine lines up there. Uh, so that's all we've done is just invert on that side. And then same thing, same setup here, you know, pistons flip each other, nor latch here. Um, again, run through the nor latch into the AND gate, and now we have flipped all of this on. And then uh, eventually what we'll do is um, the magenta wool here. I'm going to reset the time real fast. 
I always fail. I try to type these in a video and I fail like every time I do it. So um, this line of magenta right here is going to get split um, like this, at least for our purposes right now. We will run it two ways. Go ahead and run this here. And then um, what we'll do with the magenta is we will carry it so that it'll be um, right there. And then really, I guess, I am going to want a repeater um, at some point. We will do that here. There. Did I break? Nope. Um, we can carry this up. Now we can take our redstone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, into the repeater. Now what that did, um, it turned itself all the way off. We just inverted um, the signal here, which then reset the NOR latch here. And that went ahead and then flipped our AND gate, so it is now in the OFF position again. It no longer worked. And now if we carry this exact same setup here to the other side, uh, just like this, then we will get the same um, set up when we go ahead and program it back here. Now obviously this is not kind of the idea. Um, we're going to set to the side and now we will flip that and it should reset everything I think. Let's see if it did. It did not. I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh I do know why because um, we have to manually flip this guy up here. My bad. Now let's go back and um, run this guy again. So this time we should into there. We should now reset everything. Um, it looks like it did that. We've now reset both sides. So that's kind of basically how that reset line is going to work. Uh, obviously we need to run it up here into these blue NOR latches as well so that it will go ahead and reset those. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see the basic idea here for the combination lock. Obviously, this is expandable. You can continue on that way. Um, it's just going to be the same setup that we've got here. I will come back with part two, and um, we will, I think, build another digit. And then there should be a part three of this thing. Um, after we have built, I'm going to build a four-digit model for you. So part three uh, will just cover um, some uses for you know, outputs on the combination lock and how we decide um, what the output is actually going to be. Um, so yeah, that should do it for part one, and uh, we'll come back in a moment and build a digit for you.